for me, an initial draw, I think it was you're actually producing something, you're creating something, it's a positive thing. Um, you know you're feeding people, you're, you're producing this food, and you're looking at it and you're thinking, people are gonna eat because of what I'm doing. So you're actually living a life that's connected to the seasons, it, it just is an incredible feeling. Um, no matter how hard you work, you, you, you can work uh, 12 hours a day or more, and you can do it for a week straight, but it's just a season. You know, this isn't going to continue 52 weeks of the year. You're going to get a season of that, and then you're going to get a season of rest. And it just, it's just incredible. It's just very rewarding. It's the kind of thing that you're exhausted at the end of the week or the end of the season. You're exhausted. You take your break, um, and, and, and your break, you start thinking about it. And you start getting excited about going back in next year and doing it all over again. And, and I've never done a job before where I would work that hard with with that much effort and and just relish the idea of getting back to do it again you know and uh, so that's just I think very to me it's been very unique uh, aspect of agriculture and I, I love I love the fact that I am directly rewarded for my effort um, you know I'm not working by the hour anymore which means that I might not make anything um, but it also means that if I have a new idea and, uh, and it was a good idea, and I, and I do a good job with that idea, I can get paid for it. Um, so it's an incentive to always be thinking about the future and to, to think about things that you can do. When people, when people buy, uh, buy local produce, whether it's a potato, a carrot, a strawberry, um, they're, actually, they're actually kind of investing in the community. Uh, the more you consume local, the more, the more jobs there's, there are going to be in this community. Um, they say one, one dollar spent on a locally produced product um, stays in the community and multiplies out seven times within that community. So one dollar is actually worth seven. The food that they're buying that's local grown, it's, it's fresher, it's healthier. Also the, the food security aspect of it. With, um, with our isolation from the lower 48, it's great to be a producer up here in that, in that we don't have the diseases, we don't have the pests, um, it's actually it's actually pretty incredible, but uh, that's great for a producer. But what's really I think kind of scary for a consumer is is that we have a three day supply of food in this state at any given time, and the only thing that really expands it beyond three days, your really your your local farmers that have uh, food storage barns. Uh, with really potatoes, carrots, cabbage that are uh, able to feed us in the winter in case of an emergency. In 1955, this state produced over half of the food consumed here. And we've progressed to the point now where we are only producing 3 to 4 percent of the food that's consumed in Alaska. Um, we have the capability to do that 50 percent or, or maybe maybe significantly more than 3%. I'm not sure if we could produce 50% now, but we could produce a lot more than we are. And the, every time a person consumes something that was locally produced, um, they're helping us pursue that goal of increasing our, our production to meet the needs of Alaskans. <laughs>